Hi, I'm Terry Taylor from Interfaith Pass to Peace, and I'm part of this downtown Way of the Cross Walk for Justice that happens every year in our community. It takes people about a mile and a half through the downtown area, and the Way of the Cross is usually something that people experience inside a church, reenacting the, the steps that Jesus took on his final journey to his grave. But today, when we walk this in our downtown area, we try to take people outside of their own hearts, outside of their own churches, and into the community to see the ways that people in need, people who are suffering, are crucified by things that happen in our own community and around the world. This is a way of connecting the suffering of Jesus with the reality that we experience every day. Because of economic inequality, billions in our world today live under worries, weights, and brutalities. In recent financial crises, driven by those who had more than enough, the gap between rich and poor became even wider. Greater inequality in wages and salaries, wealth concentration, racism, sexism, and corporate consolidation and mergers drive economic inequality. Is this what God wants for the children of Earth? We fall when our immigrant youth, who were brought here as children without papers, are penalized for not being able to study in universities. We fall when political posturing and demagoguery incites fear while squandering real possibilities for meaningful immigration reform that would keep families united, keep workers working, and strengthen the fabric of our communities and society. As we stop here this morning at the final station, offering a reflection on compassionate presence with others, I am joined by two people who exemplify compassionate presence with others. Our dear friend Christopher Tuax, who reaches out to the victims of violence in our streets and also to the perpetrator families to try to find resolution. Eric and I, for almost seven years now, have been on uh, this kind of uh, journey in the time of tragedy to try to bring in healing and uh, a level of rebirthing spirits as it relates to the chaos. And these expressions just basically and hopefully we try to pull heartstrings with these kind of expressions. Put down your gun, put down the guns. We want our city back. 
and especially standing next to me is young Erica Hughes, who's now nine years old and was the victim of a horrible gun attack when she was two years old and now goes into hospital rooms to visit with people who have suffered violence themselves to offer them comfort. I can think of no better example of that. Do it that. was sad because seeing Mickey in the hospital, it was like, it was like something's bad happened again and everything, and just everywhere on the, everywhere in the city, just somebody's getting hurt and we just want everybody to stop doing it so that people can have a chance in their life to uh, make it through without anything happening. happening.